안녕하세요 여러분 Today we will see some tips and tricks when modeling windows, stairs and railings For the first method we will use the plugin 1001bit To create windows, open the 1001bit panel For example, let's make this simple window out of a square The first method is to make the square Double click that square and look for 1001 bit panel divide. Number of rows will be 1, columns 2, frame depth and width 0.05. Create panel and click on that. It creates a group, as you can see, and inside that group is another group. So it says to color the glass inside. What we do right now is to go inside and I want to color this glass. Click on the glass group and go to our material picker and you have the window. Why don't I paint inside? Why do I paint outside? For example, I want to change the material. I could just easily click on that group. The next method we have is to make custom windows such as this. Let's do the same thing. We already have our window. The next thing we did was to color the frame outside, just like this. Now the next step would be to explode the glass inside. Go inside the window by double clicking it and explode this glass, which is a group. Right click, explode. From left to right, select that as in our volume tutorials and just using the move tool moves towards the left now this method will not require any plugin it's a manual method first start with a flat shape for fast exterior for example you already have elevations just trace over the hole press F for offset and make the jam in order to create frames we first created the offset and make our division, which is two. So we have two separate glass panels and make the frame offset, which is a lot smaller. Now that we have a flat window, first thing we can do is to push the jams outside. So when making the push pull, remember our first volume press, plus, or control. You already remember the difference between left to right and right to left. We're going to use right to left so not to hit the outer parts. And then group, or G, for our volume shortcuts. In order to push the frames inside, we have to move inside the group. Double click and push the frames. In order to have both phases of the window, we have to resize the frames. Click on that group of the frames and glass, go to the other side of it, and do the same thing. So click on that group, look for the midpoint, press the up arrow, and look for the blue midpoint. In this case, I have pushed it too much, so I'm going to resize it. Okay, so let's start with the 1001 bit, four stairs. Let's open 1001 bit and look for the staircase. If it's not showing, just highlight it and it should show. Not here, but around the seventh. Click on Build Staircases and let's change the step width to 0.9, riser height to 0.2, thread depth to 0.25, gap to 0, number of risers to 7, and 7. Handrail will be OK. Create Staircase and if you have a guide you can just trace over it. It's going to look something like this when using plugins. The first one is the 1001 convert to profile. So what I do is I double click 
and go towards the group of the handrails. Double click to go inside again and I triple click the furthest one and look for the V-shaped convert to profile. I'm going to make it something like a tubular steel. Outside of the group it has been created. So I'll try it again with a smaller one and convert to profile. Now, in this case, you need to fix the handrails manually. The other method is the Adebayo push line, which is also available in Volume 2. This time I have a shortcut for Adebayo push line in our Volume 2 shortcut, so I use it here. Align it to the blue axis. Now, if you have joint push pull, you can make this thicker as well. But for now, I'm just gonna show this at the Bayo push line. Making the handrails, you could actually make copies of that for the balustrade. And third, we have the profile builder. So, what we do is also triple click the line and just go to profile builder and click on the assembly builder. So, the one beside build. Now, I just click on build along path. Because of its settings, it built my railing above, so I can just choose to push it down below. You could also choose other assemblies. It creates a stair, balustrade and railings. So that's another way to create railings. Without plugins, we usually make the staircase this way. Make this into a component and make copies of it. Below the thread. That's our 3D and 2D stair. And then follow me. So I would trace over the thread, pull down shift, up stairs. Make a copy. So this will be the handrail. I could make a rectangle by using the arrows. Try it again. Follow me. Now we have our top handrail. You can go lower, turn it into a component. In this case, this component will have different properties from the handrail. For example, up here we'll have like three more, and we can edit their sizes. This is just for example. As for balcony railings, most of us start with our balcony like this in 3D, right? So we could use to have a concrete balcony and then put some railings above it. Using the 1001 bit, we could use the same method as Windows. Let's create the rectangle and choose how many divisions we would want. Let's say I chose three rows and four columns. And then this side, I would choose almost half. I will just choose two columns make this into a component, transfer it to the other side and flip. There we have simple balcony railings. Let's say that this would be glass. So what we could do, since this is already to a group, we could just scale it. But expect that there will be openings because of that. So I choose to close them first. 
and in our volume 2 delete the coat plane our edges. Paint this into a glass and scale it smaller. That could be one way to make a design for a balcony railing. And we're done with method one. Now if you would want to customize this, use the same method from the window method, which is to explode the glass inside. By exploding the glass inside, we should be able to move it along, but since we made this into one solid shape, there's no problem. Since this is a component, the other side will adjust as well. In order to make the handrail, you could use the follow me method or the 1001 bit. In this case, I would like to use the follow me method. Saying that this is the path of the handrail, I would like to design the handrail myself. Putting this along the path, I would like to select the path, deselect the profile and use the follow me method. In that case, I have the handrail. I group it and put it higher around here. Now my handrail should be supported by the posts. In this case I'm going to draw some the of it. I'll like stand. Handrail it. And put this inside as a component. There we have it. Customize railing. Group everything.